Previously on The Walking Dead. Oh, what's up, everybody? It's your boy G Way, and I'm coming back with another episode of The Walking Dead. This is season two. This will probably be my, I want to say, episode nine. I'm not for sure just yet. I still haven't went back. I'm still recording the same night, same day, right after episode, the last episode, whatever. But let's continue anyway. Let's resume the game. I know who you are. Oh, I got road. another good one for you. Forgot about that one. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. We found, to come home now. we found you, Clementine on that in You're the treehouse if you didn't watch the previous Doug, episodes. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Yeah, you watch your... No, 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 no. Ain't nothing gonna happen to them, man. I'm... I'm Lee. Yeah, I know. I know. Thanks for re-informing me again. Appreciate that. It's a brand new day. All right, man. This, this game looks pretty good today. I don't know what the difference is. Maybe it's <gasps> yeah. It scared me there for a minute. I thought I was gonna be attacked. Damn. Who is this guy? What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. What Last happened night, I heard the hunt. Doug laying in bed, just naming types of pie. It was driving me nuts. I think he's starting to lose it. He's not the only one. Won't you cut him some slack? Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Not enough. According to Lily, we've just about hit the last of our food reserves. Some people might have to go without tonight. You mean oh, that's gonna suck again? Kenny's gonna be pissed. <clears throat> he thinks everyone should have an equal chance of missing a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, oh, Kenny's man. been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Yeah. A wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Man, he's got a problem with everybody. Hey, bird. He thinks I'm dangerous. Larry's just looking out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. She can take care of herself. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And yeah. I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Yeah. Knocked me right out. That's something in my eye. Uh oh. What are we looking at? A bird? It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Uh. Damn. Let's go. Is that Kenny? I don't know. 
Come on. Let's go. I don't see nothing. What's that back there? Is that a shovel? Nah, that's a rock. Uh oh. Jesus Christ. Oh shit. No, no. Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave. Oh my Wait. god. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off. Get it off. God damn it. Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might maybe. Be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. Oh what? yeah. You got raided? What the fuck is there a bear trap out here? I don't know, man. Who raided your camp? I, I don't know. Guys with guns. Please, we won't bother you, I swear. Lee, this is fucked up. We gotta help you. Please. All right. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Was he bit bitten? No, I swear. All right. Hurry, please. Hurry. Uh-oh. They can smell blood. They can hear us and smell us. There's no release latch. What? Oh no. Oh no. Look at him as he freaking fast. Now or never leave. Please get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Oh, is this what we're gonna do? Is this what we're gonna do? Let's hit it. Come on. Lee, do something. No, no, no! Try the trap again! Anything, please! Try to cut the chain! Mm. Ah. Mm -mm. Let's go! Let's go. Mm. Mm. It has to be now! Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he's out. He's out like a light. He passed out. Grab him. Let's go. Or it will be all for nothing. Let's go. Yeah. Come on, move. Quit looking around. Travis! Come on, come on. We gotta move. Just turn around and run. Don't. The only reason why, with them being that close, you should get eaten like that is because of their smell. Because of their smell. I'm pretty sure their smell is horrible. Man. Dang. Dang. Took his leg off. What are we gonna do about that? Mark Darren. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Chuck Jordan. Thank you, Derek Sakai and Peter Sakel. <laughs> She's just click kicking the ball. Ace Ginger Cola. What does that mean? I never heard of this. Never. Never in my life. Dennis Lenart. Oh. I see you. Shit. My right. What the hell are they doing? Yeah, open the gate. Come on, come oh on. My God. What happened? Oh, hell on these. Don't have time to explain. Please. See how quick he came through the there. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee. What? What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Shut hey, you up. Calm down for a fucking. I thought we could save his life. I'm the one that took his leg. 
That makes me responsible. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Come on, Lily. These the are best thing is to get bigger. To survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can hmm. make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Yeah. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Look, yeah. Once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I've Why been making decisions the wall? since I started this game. Yeah. What'd she say? What'd she say? You know what? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. Okay. Come on, let me respond. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. Lynn. No, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. Okay. I got this. Six people aren't gonna eat. I got this. I got this. Here, eat something. <sighs> Why don't you give it to Doc? I'm a little busy with your mess right now. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Yeah. Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this. Sewing up people's injuries. But nah. Cuts and bruises are one thing, but please, this man has no leg. I'm sorry. He was in a trap. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Okay. Thanks for letting me stick around with you. Let's get Hey, Doug. <clears throat> ah. What's up, Lee? What are you working on, Doug? I've worked up a little warning system for outside. Does it work? It should. We'll have to wait and see. Take it easy, Doug. You too, Lee. Sorry, I can't give you no food, Doug. And that's great. I love your contribution effort, but I gotta find out what's Will going on with these the other people. Board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Hey, man. Eat some food. Here. Eat something.
Yeah, some jerky, man. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Fine, fine. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? No. Oh, come on, Larry. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Yeah. Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. You're always cranky. You get nothing. I gotta feed Clementine. Clementine. Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? Where and when? A couple days ago. I days. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Want something? Well, he to just eat? came out of the the woods and stuff. If you're you need to have some crackers and cheese. You haven't eaten in a while. I am really hungry. Thanks. Are you out of your mind? We needed that food for us, for our kids. Just because we don't know him doesn't mean he's not hungry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause trouble. You're fine, kid. Enjoy it. I got this. Hey, Doc. I'm gonna give it to Doug. About a little food. Here. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! Oh, uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Yeah. Not you, neither. Give it to her. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? No. No. That was the last one. Oh. Um. Enjoy it. You deserve it. Yeah, you saved my life. How you doing up there? Not such an easy job, is it? I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Yeah. Thanks, Kenny. Thank Still, you, Kenny. I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. I work on stuff. I work on stuff. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come die? back. There's nothing... Let him go, Kaja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. Time heals all that things. man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? <gasps> oh my god! Get off! Oh my goodness, get off of me.
kick him. Ow! Oh! Dig out his ass! This way! Thanks. No problem. We gotta watch each other's backs, right? Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! You said he wasn't bitten! What? We asked you point blank, was he bitten, and you said no! He wasn't! Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's oh, not man. the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Oh, man. God help us. It makes sense. In those first few days, it spread so fast. Car accidents, suicides, everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. There she was. Ready to... South border. There they are. Oh, there's people. Doug, it works. Of course it works. I told you. Shit, where'd this string come from? Watch where you're walking, man. Who are those people? I don't know. Are they the uh, your camp? Uh-oh. I don't think so. But they all had their faces covered, so I don't know. They all had their faces There's covered. There's two of them. We need to make a stand. No. Yeah. We have yeah. A team. We don't confront them if we don't have to. You all right? Yeah, just getting untangled. I don't know how you're still alive, man. Sorry, Lily. We gotta do this. That's far no. enough. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, no problem. Are you armed? Yeah. F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. No, but, uh, no. I think you got the upper hand here. What do you need <laughs> gas for? No, 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 no. The place no, no. is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Mm. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'll Just check. us? What? We'll prove the numbers in case we run into anything dead. So, uh... What are y'all thinking? You've okay, let's let's go check it out. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Awesome. We got a deal so, going on. Dairy. You guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Awesome. That's amazing. We're on our way to the farm. Well, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Galloway Entertainment. And I'm your boy G-Way, a.k.a. Stephen Galloway. Boom. Peace and I'm out.